Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a very beautiful purple mixed bead choker. So I'm going to get, take you through everything that's on my plate and the extra tools I have to my side. This is just going to make sure when your project is completed it looks nicely finished uh, with everything hidden such as the wires and the crimps. Let me bring this plate up close and I'll show you one by one what we've got. So in here we've got the crimp covers or the clots. We've got one lobster clasps. We've got crimp beads. These will help um, secure the ends and make sure the beads don't fall out. We've got some jump rings. We've got a chain extender. We've got chain extender charm. And then I'd like to add a little heart charm on the necklace at the end as well. I'll put this to one side. To the other side of me, I've got some beading wire. Uh, you can make your necklace any length you want. I'm going to have a 14 inch necklace. So what I'll do is in a bit, go ahead and cut the amount of wire I need. As it's going to be a 14 inch necklace, ideally I want to leave three inches spare just so I can get my clots and any closures through. The tools to help us finish this project will be a plier. This helps me crimp my crimp beads and a wire cutter. This is handy for cutting the wire um, when measuring and towards the end, which I'll show you through the tutorial. So let's make a start. I'm just going to move my plate out of the way and then I've got my wire. I'm going to measure roughly 16 inches. I've got measuring tape right next to me. Let's get that out. So I'm going to measure roughly 16 inches and I'll cut it here. So I'm just going to hold on to the rest of the wire because it does come undone and cut. This is the piece we will be working with. And to start, I'll show you what we need. Uh, before I do that, I will quickly mention that everything I've put here, I will put the links for it on, on my description box for this video. So you can go check it out and get any supplies that you might need to help you complete similar projects. So I've got my wire and the very first thing we're going to do is get our culotte, which looks like this. And all I'm going to do is this side up, I'm going to put my wire through it. And then what I'm going to do is grab a crimp bead. This helps me secure this bead in beads into place. So I'll put that through here. I'm just going to leave that down here. And what I'll do up here, I'll move my plate out of the way so you could see much clearly. Bring it closer to the camera. This part, I'm just going to bend it like that. I feel this gives a bit more security so your bead, your necklace won't ever come apart. And I'll just push my crimp bead to the top and round there I'll crimp it. And then with the cover I'll push that to the top, through there. And both of those just go through the middle of that crimp hole which is here. And then I'll close that shut. This just gives a nice little ending. So now we will start beading. Let's bring our beads back. And I'm just going to grab a few. You could do this this way. So you just one by one string your beads through. I'm going to do 14 inches of beads. So I have a handy device to help me with all the beading. What I've got is a bead spinner. So for the timing of this video, I'll just quickly spin some beads in here. You have to be very gentle with this wire. You can usually use a needle in here, but because I'm using a wire, I'm going to use the wire directly for those who have bead spinners. Again, I'll link the bead spinner where I bought this from in the description box below. So just like that, I'm going to keep beading through. So 
So I think I've reached 14 inches. I've measured around my neck. Let's put this to the side and make sure it is the right size. 14 inches is usually a standard neck size for shorter necklaces. So I'm going to measure it and make sure I'm around there. I'm at 13 and a half, which is more than fine because it fits quite nicely for me. So I'm going to keep it at that and show you how to finish the choker. Let's bring our plate back. And what we'll do is grab our crimp cover or the culotte. And we want to face it this way. And I'll put my wire through it like so. So it's facing this way. What I'll do is another tutorial on how to do it without the crimp covers if you don't have them and um, I'll link that video as well into this one. So now we want to secure the wire and for this bit I'm going to grab my crimp bead. I'll put it through the wire like so and for the next bit I'm just going to move this out of the way. So to close the necklace, I'll show you the method I use. I'll just cut off some of the excess wire so I have only like an inch to work with. And what I do with this is I'll bend it over and try and put it through the crimp bead. This may be a bit difficult, but it's the best way to make sure your necklace will not come apart. So I put it through the crimp bead and through the uh, hole. You can see it's come out this side. I'll grab the side I've beaded through and just pull this down. And then uh, you can see the loop is still too big. So I'll just pull that down until I have a small loop like so. And then I'll grab the crimp bead and crimp it. The loop just, I feel, helps make sure it is extra secure and what I'll do with this excess wire is just cut it. Now we only have to add our end bits on, which I'll show you how to do now. Let's bring back our plate. So what I'll do here is grab my two jump rings, grab my lobster clasp and get my extension chain. I'm going to leave the extender here for now and these two bits. So I'll show you how to do it through both. So if you don't have a jump ring opener, which looks like this, what I'll do is get my jump ring and I'll just have another plier where I'll twist it open just like that. I'll put this through here and add the lobster clasp like that and then I'll close it again like that. We've now added our lobster clasp. On the other side I'll show you how to do it with a jump ring opener. So again I grab the jump ring, I put it through one of the slots here and I twist it like so. So I'm going to add this through the other side and then add my extension chain. This is just in case I want to extend the length of my choker or necklace. So that's in through there and as you can see I twisted it back. An additional option if you want is to have a little teardrop extension chain. So this I usually put at the end here. So with this last piece of chain all I'm going to do is twist it like that and put my teardrop through. And then I'll just close it again like that. So now our choker is looking more complete and I'm loving how it looks. Let's do the last bit and add on our charm. To add on the charm, all I'm going to do is just get my jump ring opener and open that jump ring. Get my heart, put it through the heart to open it slightly more and put that through here. This might be a bit iffy. So I've got my jump ring through there and all I'm going to do 
is close that now so all I did was just close it sorry I realized I did that off camera it's now closed and I'm going to secure it our beautiful choker is now complete this is great for summer or giving gifts um, I love how this has turned out if you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel i'm going to bring more of these tutorials and maybe a different variety to do with paper craft more beading and felt craft thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoy making your necklaces at home